worked out, Joel. It felt really good. So Adam Kovic is not in today. He's actually just sitting right there. Hi, Adam. Say something for the, for the people. That sounds odd. That was funny. That's a funny guy. <laughs> on to your first news story. China's gonna lift the ban on console game sales. It's about fucking time. Yeah, Ni hao, so, China. Hey, come on, everybody give that a clap. Woo! That's really good. That's really good. So the PS4, the Xbox One, all the consoles will be able to be sold in China very, very soon. The Wall Street Journal reports that China will end a 13-year-long ban on game console sales. That's right. Uh, government ministries agreed to ban consoles in 2000, fearing that they would negatively affect Chinese youth, but it just made PC gaming extremely popular <laughs> in the country. And as Lawrence said today, uh, it just means that the popularity of Dota is going to be cut in half now. It's going to go way down, right, Lawrence? That's right. Oh, man. Put on Xbox now. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. They got to port it over to Xbox. So uh, now game consoles will be included in a free trade zone with other previously prohibited foreign products. These new rules will be implemented over the next three years with no exact date given on when game consoles will be made available. What other foreign products? <laughs> like sex dolls uh, or? Maybe, maybe some like disc bands or? The gaming population of China is huge, obviously. Yep. And um, you don't interact with them right now because they're all playing, as I said, Dota, Dota all yeah, the time. That's true. So get ready to get pwned by Chinese people. Nobody says pwned anymore, Joel. Pwned. Nobody says pwned. You're ready to get pwned. So recently, Microsoft also announced a joint venture with Chinese internet TV company, Best TV New Media, uh, which means Microsoft might be positioning the Xbox One as a TV slash gaming device in China. Very, very interesting. Kind of like they're doing here. Kind of exactly like they're doing yeah, that's, here. And, and Microsoft is a, a lot smarter than I think we think they are. So I'd like to welcome all of our new Chinese viewers to Inside Gaming Daily. Make sure the captions are turned on for this episode. Do we say ni, how, ni hao? Ni hao? Ni hao, is ni, that how they say That's it? all I know Hello? how to say. Donald, how do you say uh, you just got pwned in Chinese? Ni hao ling ya. Is that how you say it? Really? No, it's, not, it's, a, it's a quote from uh, Wayne's World. <laughs> <laughs> on your second news story. See, it's been to On your second news story, Joel. What uh, we have a th the, the, the third final Steam reveal happened Yeah, today. that's true, it did. Yeah, uh, it's a controller. <laughs> that's it. It's a Steam controller. Okay. Uh, a two circular trackpads will be clickable. Yeah. Uh, there is precise haptic feedback on each of the circular trackpads. What does that mean? Uh, that just means it's going to vibrate a lot underneath, underneath your fingers when you're when you're doing this. Just doing like this my girlfriend, yep. if I had one, yep. which I don't. Feel anything yet? Feel uh, anything yet? No. There are also two trackpads on the back and touch screen in the middle uh, of the controller that's also clickable. Yep. Uh, four shoulder buttons, A, B, X, and Y buttons, and three long buttons on the bottom that might be Steam OS. So this, this image actually shows Portal 2 binding, so you can kind of see how an FPS will work with the controller. Trackpads are for movement and look, just like you'd expect. Shoulder buttons for firing portals. Exactly just like the standard FPS layout on any console. Yeah, uh, the controller will also work with all of Steam software regardless of the platform, so you don't need a Steam machine to use it. That's really cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, my, my gut reaction was to be like, this looks terrible, and then my like as an adult, I realized I need to get my hands on it before I can make that judgment call. You do. I bet I'm going to love it. It's very rare that Valve screws anything up. It really is. So, and, and it's one of those things that all these, all three announcements weren't very big this week. But with Valve doing this, I mean, they're they're they've thought about this for years. They've been playing this for years. So you know, they, they you know they know what they're doing. I think this is one of these announcements are going to seem really small and then reverberate for a long time. Yep. Especially the console announcement, the fact that third-party hardware developer uh, manufacturers can be able to develop. Uh, these boxes. I think it's going to really shake up the console market in the way that a lot of the smaller, like newer consoles, like Ouya, is trying to do, but it terribly failed because it's boring. There are right. no good games. On yeah, well, Lawrence made the uh, correct comparison. It's more of the way Android kind of jumped into the cell phone market right after iOS, and everyone's like, Android, there, nobody, that's never going to work. And now it's taken over the market. All right, on to your trailers. One and only trailer is The Evil Within 12 minutes of gameplay. Lord, yeah. Lawrence, did you watch all 12 minutes? I have watched zero of the minutes. Zero. Well, tell me what happens in it. Okay, uh, there's a man, and he looks very frightened, and he's running down a hallway, and there's some blood, and then there's a monster with some sort of bladed thing attached to his body somewhere, and it's crawling after him. And then there's loud music that sounds vaguely disturbing, right. and then louder music, and then no music, and then music again. Lawrence, does he have a gun? No. He doesn't have, oh, Lawrence, you were wrong. I've watched the trailer, he does have a gun. Does he have a gun kata, though? Uh, he, no, there's no gun kata, he de but he does have a gun. I'm also I'm also gonna keep hammering away. Mortal Kombat is, is you know, it was uploaded yesterday, but it's still there. What? So wanna watch we're not putting it in the clickouts. Nobody's watching more, who cares? Put it in the clickouts. No! As the channel manager, I demand that you put it in the clickouts. No! Ow! Get over here! It has begun. <laughs>